Hi everyone, I'm Vic. Today I wanted to talk about transforming your videos for a vertical perspective. If you have your camera mounted vertical and you're getting that sideways look, having to tilt your head like this or like this just to see it correctly, this video is gonna help you fix that. Generally, any source can have this done if you need to transform it. So think of OBS like using Photoshop. So let's get started. Now, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is pull up OBS, obviously, and we're going to actually start setting up our camera. All right, first we wanna add our source. So we're gonna go to our sources. So we're gonna go to video capture device and we're gonna label this face cam because that is the camera I am currently using. Oh yeah, I did spell that right. Okay, and then we're just gonna select our face camera. I always deactivate when not showing and I do custom for my resolution. I choose the max, which is 1080p, and then I choose 60 as my FPS. I leave my color space at 709, because that is standard. Video format, you can leave it at any, or you can choose M uh, JPEG. For some reason, the other option always freezes up OBS. I don't know why. Um, and then color range, leave a default, and buffer. You always want to disable buffer. All right, so now we have this weird, janky little, you know, perspective. And what we need to do is rotate that. So, you know, we gotta go into the settings and play around. So what we're gonna do is right click on the uh, source. We're gonna scroll up to transform and we're gonna rotate this 90 degrees clockwise. And the only reason I know this is because this is going to be the, um, the angle that I have it at. If I had the camera, mounted the opposite, it would be counterclockwise. So in this case, we're gonna leave it like this. And uh, there you go. You have a vertical perspective, very easy to do. That's for the people who mount their camera vertically. Now, if you do it horizontal, we could talk about that as well. So I recommend never using Control F when you're resizing these particular um, instances is because if you do it's gonna do some weird stuff where it, one it resets it but two if you were to transform it again you're gonna get some black bars so don't don't control F it um, if you want to reset it you can just go here to transform and right click to get to transform under your source and then you just reset so what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually change the mounting of our camera because there is now another way to do this um, that I want to show you. And I wanted to get into a couple of these things. Um, give me just a second though. So we're going to change the perspective real quick. Uh, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> if it would hold up. Okay, there we go. All right, so this is one way to do vertical. Now, just say you wanted to get a specific area, right? Let's just say we want to get our Stream Deck XL in there. We could change that. Just, you know, if you were the person in there, you want to make sure that you're just in there, right? So that's one way to do vertical. Now we could reset this again. You always want to reset it when you're going to the source. You're going to right click, you're going to go to transform, and you're going to reset it. Now there is one more way I wanted to show you. And that again is going to be right clicking, except this time we're going to go to filters. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to image mask blend. And on Image Mask Blend, we're gonna actually browse for a particular file, which is um, a file that you can, it's gonna be any masking file. And in this case, this one is a portrait masking file, which is a uh, vertical, uh, heavy rounded. And I'm using the uh, marketplace with the, <laughs> let me make sure I have the label of this correct. Um, it is going to be the 21 free webcam masks from Elgato's Marketplace, and I'll provide the link. Um, I had to finagle this because OBS is a little picky for some reason, and I had to make sure that it has the black borders for it to crop properly. So I think that's a note that you wanna take away when you're doing something to this nature where it is vertical. And then in this case, now that we have the vertical area, we can actually just alt and drag in like we did earlier. And then we can resize this to wherever we wanna put that vertical format. Anyways, I wanted to make this video to show you how easy it is to have a vertical mounted camera and a horizontal mounted camera and making it in portrait mode or vertical. Anyways, uh, thank you for liking, thank you for following, thank you for subbing, and you know, thanks for hanging out and uh, sticking around and watching the video. I appreciate you.